Hey, welcome to the Run Testers. I'm Mike. I'm Kieran. And in this video, we are going to be talking about headphones. These are the headphones that we love to run with. So we're going to be looking at headphones from a cross of different price ranges. We're going to give you a little bit of an outline of what we look for in headphones, what we kind of see as our top picks. And also we'll give you some honorable mentions and other headphones you should look at. So yeah, let's get into it. So before we get into talking about what our top picks of headphones are, we thought we'd run you through very quickly what we look for in a really solid pair of running headphones. Somewhere near the top of that list, Mike, is fit, right? I definitely think that's an important one for us. And obviously, as uh, you know, a lot of us in, t in, the, in the run testers now, we all have different kind of uh, priorities in terms of fit. Ultimately, you want something that's going to stay secure. Um, Wingtips are generally one of the things we kind of look for, but that's not you know, the only options that you have out there. So a secure fit, ones that are going to stay put for a variety of different types of running, harder kind of training runs and also races. So that's a key thing for yeah. one of the key things. If, it, if they're not going to stay in your ears, it doesn't matter about our next things, which is battery life and sound, right? You've got to keep these things in. They want to feel solid, yeah. particularly when we all test these when we're going down kind of steep hills and everything. We might do a little shake test to see if they fall out. But we do have different ears and everyone out there has different ears. So yeah. we've, we've got four run testers with very different kind of pre preferences on fit. So we hope to be able to give you a good idea of whether or not these things fit tight. If we get a pair that fits all of us, tends to mean they'll hopefully fit a wider section of people out there. Yeah. So next up, we've got battery life. Yeah, battery life, I think ultimately you won't want to be charging it on a regular basis. Battery life is getting better on running headphones as well. I think another thing to actually add as well is you were seeing a lot of headphones with kick charging support. So if you forget to charge, if you get up in the morning, and forget to charge your headphones, you can drop it in for a few minutes and it will give you enough to get you through an hour. So that's, you've got the kind of general battery life and the charging case battery life as well on top of that, but also I think the quick charging uh, feature, which we're starting to see with more headphones, I think is a nice desirable feature, particularly for running headphones. One thing I love as well is if you can charge one bud in the case whilst you're running, listening to the other bud, doing ultras, that comes in handy if you want to kind of boost the amount of time you can be listening to music whilst you're running and still charging. Yeah. So then we'll get onto the other thing. Now, sound is a big one. You know, we want to have full, big, kind of rich, kind of, Good sound for me personally. I'm not yeah. an audiophile, <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not looking for like the, the really, really subtle. But I want something that's going to be able to kind of drown out something in the gym, fill my ears with good music, and there's some other kind of features around sound which we kind of look for as well, right? Yeah. So we, I mean, we all got different tastes. We've all got different kind of audio tastes in the in the group. So we're all kind of looking for different things. But ultimately, you're looking for something that's got a little bit of power. You want that kind of extra bass if you like. To kind of listen to kind of like up tempo music and also maybe you want some detail if you listen to podcasts so these are the things that we will look through across our testing um, you're also going to be looking at things like active noise cancellation which actually you're blocking out the world and how you can control that active noise cancellation and then things like transparency mode and hear through modes that we're seeing which kind of lets that sound back in or balances what you hear in your ears and actually outside as well so those are kind of features that we will look at as well yeah transparency great for kind of race mode if you want a pair of headphones that will let you hear a little bit more when you're doing a park run or something like that yeah the other thing i mean i loudness is big for me like i want it to be i want it to be loud enough to drown out the sounds in the gym yeah or to be able to help me lock in kind of isolated sound you know so a good top volume is very important yeah for me personally but so once we've gone beyond those things the other thing we really want is a pair of headphones that are going to last a long time so durability is top. What kind of things are we looking for here, Mike? So I think the thing that we're looking for mainly in running head to now is uh, kind of IP rating. So we'll kind of flash up some kind of IP ratings that you should kind of be looking for that we would look for in terms of running headphones because ultimately these are telling you things like whether they're kind of water resistant and sweat resistant and it doesn't mean we want you know you go swimming in these but ultimately if you're going to be running in the rain if you're going to sweat a lot when you run indoors or outdoors these will give you a bit extra protection and make sure they can last longer uh, over a long period of time in terms of your running so those are kind of things that i would be looking for that we would kind of look for in our testing and we're now starting to see the durability move over to the case as well so if you know you're going to be out running with a case you might get wet the durability ratings on case is a big bonus too again Absolutely. particularly if you're going to use these headphones on, on ultra where you might be out for a day so then finally, I guess we're looking at all the other kind of features that might come to headphones, things like find my buds to help you kind of locate buds or locate the case. Uh, what else have we got, Mike? I think they're the companion apps. We're seeing a lot more companion apps with these headphones as well, which give you the opportunity to kind of tweak uh, the music profile, also to improve some of those extra features like active noise cancellation, how well they work. So there's extra things. And also, you know, people are starting to throw in playlists that you can kind of better cater to your running. So there's extras that are there that are kind of desirable. They're not essentials, but they might be nice for particular runners who want those kind of extra features. So there you have it. That's a quick kind of whistle stop of all the things that we look for when we're testing a pair of running headphones. We factored all of those in when we've made this list that's coming up next. 
Okay, so in this category, we're going to talk about best running headphones for day-to-day -day use. Now, Kieran, what do we mean by that? Yeah, we're kind of talking about a kind of crossover setup here. So you've got a pair of headphones that's going to be good on the run, but classic example of this, you've just come back from a run, you're going to hop onto a Zoom call. They're kind of headphones you want to be able to pop in, sit on your Zoom call and use in the office as well. So what we're looking for is still looking for good fit, good battery life. We're looking for good durability, but we're also looking for things like quick switching, between phone and computer. Also looking for good active noise cancellation for when you're in the office, you might need to drown out sounds or you're working in a cafe. So some of these might not be sort of styled for sport and fitness specifically. They've got to look the part as well in the office. If you're going to wear them on the tube or on the train, you know, they'll be designed slightly differently, but they'll be able to do both of these things well, maybe better than sort of doing one kind of running or being in the office really really well so you know to be making a bit of a compromise perhaps okay so and our top pick we've gone and we've kind of had a discussion about this and we've gone with the jabra elite 7 active yes now why have we gone with the jabra elite 7 active i mean for a start they are really compact so they fit in the ears there's no kind of you know you, they, they sort of hide away so from a, from a style and design point of view they're super comfortable to wear i think over a long period of time uh, they fit really well for in the office yeah <laughs> <laughs> when you get out on the run i don't know personally you and i have had this thing where you sort of feel like one might wobble free but they never fall out nick however yeah. finds the fit to be absolutely loctite secure yeah and i think it's you know we, obviously we have a full review on the channel and i think we had a bit of a kind of mixed experience with this new shape grip uh, design that jabra have introduced which is slightly different from what they've got on the uh, 75Ts, but ultimately you're not getting any wing tips, but you can get a good fit. I just think I kind of had a bit of a different fit, uh, difference with the fit on that side of things. But ultimately I think what makes these really stand out for kind of day-to-day -day use, like you say, that small form factor, you've got strong kind of eight hours battery yep. life. You've got the active noise cancellation. You've got kind of a strong hear through mode, a lot of kind of personalization in the Sound Plus app there as well that you get with it as well. Uh, you've got kind of really nice quick charging, which is improved from the 75T as well. It's much quicker this time. So there's a lot of things I think uh, make it our kind of top pick and why we've gone with it um, really good sound quality i think you know we both had to play a little bit with the custom eq to yeah. get that kind of perfect sort of sound profile for us but there's the there's the personalized kind of sound test as well yeah. which helps with that and i think the fact that you can kind of tweak up and down the the power of the active noise cancellation also is a good thing yeah o overall just a really really good kind of solid bud that performs well in the office and also on the run too Mike, what's first in the everyday wear? Yeah, so we've got the AirPods Pro. Now these are more expensive than our top pick. So the AirPods Pro coming in around 240 pounds. Now obviously they are best suited to using with iPhones, but actually I've kind of used them with Android uh, phones as well. And they've been fine. You kind of lose obviously some of the features, but ultimately you're getting something that works really well with Apple's own devices. You're getting really strong active noise cancellation. Battery life isn't class leading, but I think it's really good. Uh, generally, you know, in terms of what you get and the kind of drop off, um, the case is nice and small, I think, which I really like. It kind of works across, I think, running. I think for running, I get a really good fit. I know that Nick gets a really good fit with these as well, generally. So, yeah, I think that's also one to consider. Obviously, more expensive, but I think a strong option for kind of that day-to-day -day, um, running and kind of outside of running uh, option there as well. Two things on these. One is when you first look at them, I don't think you look at them and think they're sports headphones. It's no. a bit funny running, but they do work. Yeah. The other thing is when you get back into the office and you've, you're in a hurry from a run and you want to go onto that Zoom call, the switch between an iPhone to Mac on these is yeah. seamless, more seamless than any other set of yeah. headphones. So that's good. Yep. Uh, and you're going to talk us through another one of our honourable mentions as well? Yeah, I mean, this is interesting because these are the Nothing Ear One, and these are almost like a sub £100 rival to the AirPods Pro. They're deemed as like a cheaper alternative. Now, you're not going to get the same sound quality that you get from these. The active noise cancellation isn't probably as good as you'll find on, um, on other buds. But what you're getting here is a sort of similar kind of clean design. They fit really well on the run. They are super light. I think each bud is around kind of 4.7 grams and they fit really nicely in there. So there's no tug. They don't shake loose on the run, but they also look the part in the office and the active noise cancellation in an office environment on these is actually sort of a good quality. It's good enough. I think you get, you know, it's not very subtle sound as it can be a bit tinny. There's some, you know, you can custom EQ where you can change the bass, change the treble, but the all-round package of these, lightweight, they've got a beautiful design. I mean, the case is really distinct. They've got a good battery life, really competitive, five hours with 29 extra in the case. So overall, good battery life and just really solid. I think if I were looking for a gift for somebody, a pair of headphones for running and office use, £99, I think these are one that I would look at. 
Cool. And we're going to throw in one more, and it's from Nick, and those are the Bose Sports earbuds. Now, typically it is Bose, you're going to get kind of very good sound quality, but you are going to have to pay for it. You're getting a good kind of solid fit. You're getting kind of plenty of features that you would kind of expect to find at that price point as well. So if you're looking for another option outside of what we've already talked about, the Bose Sports earbuds are another uh, pair of headphones to look at as well. Okay, so the next category is cheap headphones. Now, what are we talking about when you mean cheap running headphones, Nick? Uh, basically, we kind of consider this as the under £100 category we've got, but our topic's actually under £50. Yep. And in the past, when it came to truly wireless headphones, this was not a happy hunting ground. They, they weren't very good, a lot of the sets of headphones out there. But now, they're pretty amazing, some of the stuff you can get here. You are going to trade off some. You know, you're not going to get... A lot of time you're not going to get the kind of more premium features like active noise cancellation or very good active noise cancellation anyway yeah. and sound quality definitely takes a hit but otherwise you're gonna get really good fits good battery lives pretty good sound quality you know there's a lot of good stuff down here okay and so what is our top pick in this category so our very top pick is the tribit flybud Z three sometimes <laughs> there's no three in it it's one of those things that looks a bit random on amazon you go these can't be any good but tested these a lot and these are fantastic headphones um you're basically getting a really reliable in-ear fit with a wing sound is exceptional uh for this price point i'd say they're definitely as good as a lot of headphones i've tested over 100 pounds um you know you're not hitting the tops of some of the really good stuff we're going to talk we've talked about in this video but you also get i really like these uh, silicon ear tips on it that have a two little hold uh, two kind of little tips within that's a much more secure hold battery life's great uh the actual buds aren't amazing but the case holds like 100 hours so it's, it's, it's just basically getting all the features you need for running and they're um you know 40 pounds and i really don't think you're going to be disappointed if you get these headphones they're really impressive okay that's our top uh, cheap running headphone pick okay nick so what are the other kind of options that we've got in this price range so if you spend a little bit more and you end up kind of more like 60 to 100 pounds there are loads of fantastic headphones out there uh, for just under 100 are the nothing ear one buds that kieran's tested really loves so we've got a review of them on the channel if you like more of an open fit design the adidas zne01 headphones Easy basically name. yeah oh God, that name. <laughs> i kind of view these as airpods but with a silicon coating which i think actually improves the fit uh, the sounds not as good as some of the higher price ones but they're still really good reliable headphones uh you've got a couple of big favorites in this area as well right yeah so i don't have them here but the jbl reflect flow which i have I've tested the pro version which adds active noise cancellation now these are a little bit older but they're cheaper they're around 50 to 60 pounds you're getting similar kind of level of battery life kind of eight to ten hours battery life uh, you're getting a kind of wingtip design so you're getting that really kind of secure fit and i just think you're getting really kind of um all-round sound is really good for that price as well um i also want to talk about the nyanka runner pro so these are a bone conduction kind of alternative to what aftershocks offer so yeah. these offer um bluetooth streaming bluetooth streaming and an mp3 player in as well so these are around under 100 pounds so these are a really good option if you're looking for a bone conduction uh, headphones that also offer an mp3 player and um, storage as well and battery life is okay um, i think as well so yeah and in aftershocks we've got a couple of models in this price point like the open move and yeah. the air i think it's just under 100 uh, we've also got a full video just on cheap running headphones go and yep. check that out a few more options there's creative another brand that do very good uh, headphones around this price worth checking out the um what they call the outlier the outlier air v3, v3 i think yeah, right now. V3, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah another good set of headphones you can get there So next, we're going to talk about running headphones for races. Now, what are the kind of things that we're going to look for when we're looking for headphones when you're getting on that start line, essentially? Yeah, I mean, on the start line, if you've got a set of headphones in, you want to know they're going to be there when you get to the finish line as well. So yeah. fit and comfort for me is really key. You don't want anything to be falling out sort of midway in a marathon. I've tried to pick up a gel <laughs> at some point doing that. And you know what happens. Yeah, it's like you get trampled. So Fit, fit and comfort, you don't want anything to be getting in the way of you trying to achieve what you want to achieve on race day. So those are big things. The other thing I think is battery life, right? So, yeah, definitely. I think you want something that's going to last. So, you know, you want at least, I think minimum we'd be looking at is five hours from these from these headphones, essentially. Which I think sort of studies show that around five and a half hours is the kind of average marathon finish time from the majors. So yeah. you, know, you want to be able to complete that with these things still working. And also a key thing is you want to look at with that battery life is if you're using extra features, how that is going to impact on the battery life. So that's something to look for as well. And then I guess when you get onto sound, there's two things here. Me personally, I want it to be really loud for when I get to those last sort of miles of a race so I can kick it on and it can give me the motivation. Another thing I guess is kind of hear through or transparency mode yeah. for races. So there are a few headphones in here that we'll look at for those. Yeah, and also active noise cancellation. I want to drown out. I want to drown out people when <laughs> I'm racing. So not everyone wants to do that. Like, I want to hear the atmosphere. You don't want to hear the atmosphere. Name. But yeah, so there's some extras that are definitely to look for. But I think those are the key things that we would be looking for um, from some running headphones, you know, when it gets to race time. 
So kicking off with our top pick for the best race headphones then, we have gone for the Jaybird Vista 2. Mike, yeah. tell us a little bit about why. Well, I think ultimately, I think we've all, you know, we've done a quite a comprehensive um, review of this. We've all kind of tested it. I've race tested it. I use these uh, for Berlin Marathon. And I think the key thing for me, or the key things that I think we've kind of agreed on is the fit is strong. I think they're comfortable. They've been co they're comfortable for me over a marathon distance. Um, you've got that kind of extra durability um, on the headphones, but also on the case as well. So if you're running with the case in a running belt or, or something like that, then you've got that extra protection there as well. I think the sound quality has improved over um, the original Vistas as well, which I think is a really strong uh, kind of point here as well. You know, if you want that kind of big power you've got there, but you've also got, I think, a little bit of finesse as well there as well. Uh, battery life is strong. It's eight hours. So, you know, you've got very good battery life there as well. There's plenty more in the case as well to back it up if you're going to go ultra. Exactly. So there's, you know, the, the, all the things you would want from a pair of uh, race headphones that I think you get in, in these, all of the key things that we've kind of talked about, what we look for, I think the Vista to kind of stand out they are expensive they're 189 pounds 190 pounds so they are cheap but i think in terms of what you get and in terms of you looking for something that's going to hold up uh, on race day and for a lot of races i think these are the ones we would agree on picking they they just edge it over a couple of it's a very very close run thing between yeah. this and like the jabra elite 7 active yeah and the 75ts the 85ts but there's a couple of other things in here the, one of the things they've separated out the find my buds feature so that you've got find my buds and find my case. I actually lost the Jaybird Vista 1 at the Seville Marathon in the crowd. I found them. And that feature <laughs> is a big thing on race day as well. I do think that kind of loudness that you're getting on this second generation of these ticks it over. And for me, the fit with the wingtips just edges it over something like the Jabras yeah. because you just get that extra little bit of security on race day. And that's, that's a big thing. I do think the sound is kind of punchy. Custom EQ is, is nice and yeah, all things considered, another thing as an ultra runner, that kind of durability in the case is a big thing. I've often take these out, get caught in a downpour. Instead of having to sort of find somewhere else to stash it in a plastic bag, you can just carry on running without worrying this is going to get wet and destroyed. So other cases that doesn't happen with. So yeah, for me as well, just edges it over some of the other top competition. Now a hugely popular kind of form factor in race headphones are the Aftershocks bone conductors. So basically they are you know, using vibrations to send the sound through your cheekbones directly into your brain. Um, and this, you know, because they leave your ears open, that's a good thing in race day. Some races in the UK, probably in other countries as well, these are the only race approved headphones. So you yeah. can wear them and still run. You won't be able to wear other things like in earbuds. And our top picks of these headphones are the Aeropex. These yeah. are the lightest kind of most minimal set of headphones. You get a good eight hour battery life. They are nice and light, they are comfortable. You get pretty much in the kind of, I think an equal kind of sound experience across yeah. that and the other the aftershocks range um yeah they fit nice and comfortable there's another version of these which we'd, we'd also sort of slightly recommend if you're interested in running without your phone yeah you can go for the x trainers the aftershocks x trainers now what they do is they let you stash kind of mp3s on those headphones and have your playlists and listen to them on the way back they are more expensive though yeah. and one caveat there you can't use them bluetooth connected to your phone yeah. you have to listen to those mp3 so you're locked into that but so that's something to consider. Um, other ones we'd probably look at, these are the JBL Reflect Flow Pro. So we have a review of this on the channel now. These are sitting around the price point of the Jabra Elite 7 Active. Now, why I would suggest that these are a good option to look at is that you're getting wingtip um, uh, kind of style design. So you know you're gonna get a reliable fit. Um, you're getting kind of, I would say kind of audio quality up there with kind of the Jabras and the Jaybirds as well. You're getting similar kind of battery life, so eight hours, and that's with kind of active noise cancellation on. And the active noise cancellation works similar to uh, those other headphones as well. And you also you're getting a kind of hear through transparency mode as well. You're getting quick charge uh, functionality on here as well. So they might not look as nice as some of those other headphones, but ultimately you're getting similar kind of experience. And I think for kind of um, a race you know, environment, these are a really strong option to look at. So last but not least, we have the Powerbeats Pro now these are on the list for race headphones i think primarily for me really because of the fit if you're somebody who's not sure if kind of bud stay in your ears and you struggle with that and you want absolute guaranteed kind of lock type fit the ear hook design of these means that they'll stay put you're going to get a decent quality sound here you're getting good yeah. competitive battery life um i'm not a big fan of the case <laughs> you're not going to be i mean you're not running with that in a belt i don't <laughs> it's absolutely massive but i think overall yeah for that kind of fit alone these are kind of worthy of consideration as well All right, on to the best all-round running headphones. Now, this is money, no object. Uh, you say, like, if you just want 
best headphones all around that cover all the bases, do everything you want to for running. So you can spend whatever you want on them. What is our top pick, Kieran? So the top pick for this is a headphone we've mentioned already. It's the Jaybird Vista 2. Now, it's got some very, very close competition, I think it's fair yeah. to say. But for a few reasons, this, this set of headphones just edges it for us. One of the main ones, I think, is on that run we're looking at fit. So because you have the wingtips, mm -hmm. they've got a little bit more of a secure fit than some of the other sort of Jabras. Uh, but for an overall package of features, of sound quality, good competitive battery life, uh, and that fit, the Jaybird Vista are our top pick for the best all round. Yeah, and they're crazy rugged as well, and nice little tiny case. Just everything, they make everything easy about running with headphones. Yeah, I mean, you've got that little clip, which means that you can hook it into a running belt. It's very important. You know, the durability on the case, I think, gives them that kind of, opens them up to ultra running as well, where you might be out on a, on a day run where you might get caught in the rain. You've got some comfort of knowing if that's in a pocket, it's gonna be safe. Yeah, I think, you know, the Find My Buds feature where you can find the buds and the case separately, mm. all of these things just wrap up to make a really, really sort of high quality set of headphones. Okay, some also rounds this category and it's very close for some of these, right? Yeah, I mean, we've tested there's a lot of good headphones, particularly from one brand, Jabra. We've got the Elite Active 7. Elite 7 Active. Oh, Elite 7 Active. Who cares about which way <laughs> around it? I mean, it's madness. Oh. And also then, all right, then the Elite Active 75T. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's also the 85T which are a non-sporty variant of these yeah. headphones with a few more features. Yeah, I think it's safe to say those three come quite close together in terms of their performance. Yeah. Uh, I think the Elite Active 7, good fit, good battery life, really good sound, good customization as well. Yeah. And they run the Jabra uh, Vista 2, a really close kind of run. Um, good kind of portable carry case, all of those kind of things. Yeah. And I think definitely if you're researching headphones, those are ones to look at as well in this category. Yeah. For you, there's another set which are a little bit more pricey. Yeah, yeah. But still good quality. Yeah, if you're heading up, if you've got 300 pounds to spend, the B&O, B-O Play E8 Sport are really fantastic. Now, they are phenomenal. The reason they didn't win this overall category for me, I think is that I don't think the fit's quite as good as actually on the Jabra and the Jaybird, despite you know the extra money. They found them a little bit more uncomfortable, but the sound quality is obviously out of this world. You're getting a really, really impressive sound quality there. It's really the case that B&O have made one of their normal sets of amazing headphones and made them a bit sportier with a better fit, you know, a bit more kind of waterproofing um, and kind of just, yeah, all those little tweaks to make them more sporty. And it works really well, but I think we still kind of rate those kind of Jabra and Jaybirds a little bit higher. Yeah, I mean, the B&O, they've got what their signature kind of beautiful design, you know, when you open yeah. up, it feels very premium. It feels really nice. You're getting an object that's yeah. a nice object to have, right? I mean, it's yeah. anything B&O is that way. Definitely. And then there's another set of headphones that we haven't tested yet, but we're yeah. quite excited about, which we think might be a contender in this category soon when it launches. They're the Beats Fit Pro. So the Beats Power Beats Pro are great headphones with the ear hook. We know those already. Then there's the AirPods Pro, which, you know, obviously really good headphones, but have a, not such a secure fit for yep. sports. Beats Fit Pro, hopefully will end up being a bit in between these, because it basically going to be AirPods Pro with an in-ear wingtip. Um, so they're going to have active noise cancellation, going to have really good sound, they're going to have a really good fit for sports. Quite excited to test those. They're not coming to the UK till early next year, but they'll certainly be ones we're testing out, and I think they're going to be a contender right up with, with the Jays of this world. The Jabras, the JBLs, the uh, ja Jaybirds. All the Jays, <laughs> look out for them. Broadly, if you buy a pair of headphones starting with Jay, you're going to be happy. So there you have it. Those are our top running headphone picks. Now, if you've got any questions for us, let us know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe. Hit that little bell, wherever it is, uh, to find out about our latest videos. And yeah, we'll see you for the next Run Testers video.